It's me, Kim, your Tripleholic Girl and Ka Fashionista Girl. And if you are new here, don't forget to click the subscription box and click the notification bell to be notified every time na may mga bagong uploads tayo na videos. So for today's video is gagawa tayo ng isang DIY turno which is inspired by Pinterest again, based on your low budget. Yes, tama po yung naririnig nyo based on your low budget kasi nag-ukay ako for only 20 pesos. Yung aking oversized long sleeve na naukay, eh, about 20 pesos. Oh, 20 pesos lang talaga siya. So, i re refashion po natin siya into something new and something trend. Kaya dyan, sa lahat ng naka-MGCQ na, eh, pwede nang lumabas. But don't forget the social distancing and wear your mask. Kaya, mga wala pang kakayahang bumili ng isang mamahaling pang aura, Ukay lang muna ngayon tayo. At sabayan niyo po ako sa aking pagawa ng DIY turno. And without further ado, let's get started! This is the oversized long sleeve that I have. So, we were going to make a bow tie tap. For that, we were going to cut this part and also this part. So you need to unbutton your shirt and grab the seam ripper so that you could able to remove the trade both side and you can have your bow tied up for the front. After I remove the trade both sides, so we already have these two straps for our top. And by doing that, we just continue the process and make sure you remove those trade perfectly so you won't able damage your fabric and save a lot of fabric to this process of our altered clothes for our back of our bow tie top we need to cut out the edges of our sleeves i grab some of my stuff like crop top to be a base on my back size because i don't want to rest any of my fabric and i want to make sure so sizes is about 16 inches and we know that this is already enough for our back base so we will go into remove all these buttons knowing that still have a lot of similar ones for our back so i'm going to remove the button holes to have a nice and clean output after all going to remove the straight both sides of our fabric and do the same thing to the other and after that all we're gonna do is to connect these two fabric on each other but before that we will gonna make sure that we have a great shift so we will going to retrace it again and grab your crop top so you would able to have a nice shape for your back Then cut all those excess fabric after tracing your base on your top. And after that, paste the back sides of your fabric on each other. Then connect these two straps that you made before. Make sure that you align it perfectly and pin it all the way. I know it's a little bit hard for me so I'm going to flip this part with that. I'm going to draw a line which could act as a pattern of hemming on this back. Then we're going to pin it and hem it. After hemming on this side, we will gonna do the same thing on the other side. To connect the tie top, we will going to flip it and we will going to hem on the side. But make sure you align it perfectly so that um, you will not miss any of this on this process. We're still going to put some pin to secure their fabric and make sure you draw a line 
which will guide you while you're sewing and hem all this part And this is how it looks. So we will going to move to the next part. We will going to make some strap for this bow tie top. Now I'm going to cut this collar and make some strap for this. And the measurement of our strap will going to have a length of 16 inches and the width of 1 inches. So after cutting our two strap, we will go into fold, then hem all this part. After hemming, I'm going to use my screwdriver because this is the only one that I have to clip my fabric. So if you have sticks, or any of that that can suit for your fabric you can use it to flip it around before hemming all this part I'm going to insert my two strap in the back and measure every edges mm -hmm. measure 3 inches away from the edges of your fabric And we were going to hem all this part.
and have both sides. And for that, I'm going to put some lining for my skirt. So I was looking for something that I can make a lining. And I found this long sleeve to make a lining for my skirt. I'm going to trace my skirt for this inner lining. But before that, we will make sure that we will make it more shorter than the base skirt that we have. So I already have this part and this part when I put my inner lining and by that I'm going to fold on the side and pin all the way to secure your fabric before hemming and just do the same thing on the other side. Proceed to our waistband. So we have a measurement of 26 inches and we were going to make a waistband so it will be divided in three pieces the center and the right and left side so we were going to have a measurement of our center around 13 inches because we will need to have a similar ones for that and for the left and right side is 7 inches on each side and we will going to have a 4 inches length to be pulled by 2 inches on each side for a waistband. Before putting the base side, around our waist we should put this uh, we should cover this hole of our buttons because we need to use a zipper for that we will not able to boost our legs or have those uh, inconvenient feelings so we need to remove the buttons and on remove this part this part and this part so we're going to so I need to cover the holes and by that I had got a 1.2 inches width of a fabric with a length of 16.2 inches and I need to iron the edges of this cute little fabric then hem this all the way. And now let's go back to our waistband so we made a three pieces of fabric for this waistband. So fold your waistband and iron it then connect it to your skirt. Do the same thing on this uh, both sides of your skirt. Fold your waistband around one centimeter to have a nice and clean output of your skirt.
and after that we're ready to hang all this side. And for the last part, we will going to attach the zipper for our skirt. And since I don't have a clip for that, and I'm so sorry because I won't able to show you how I attach the zipper on my skirt. But make a common sense for that because I know that you can do it without a doubt. That's all for today guys. I hope nag-enjoy po kayo sa ating mga ginawa ngayon at may natutunan po kayo. So if you want to learn more of our altered clothes, refashion OOTDs, or trip and flipping, just stay tuned to my YouTube channel and click the subscription box and hit the notification bell para po manotify kayo every time na may mga bagong videos tayo. And good news po sa aking mga YouTube subscribers. Kasi ipapag-giveaway ko po yung aking ginawang DIY terno ngayon. Which is, uh, medyo marami talagang nag-inquire sa akin sa aking Facebook account. Kasi na-post ko na po siya. Yet, it's a little bit pricey kasi it's not only one hour or two hours na tinapos siya. And it's not only one day, it takes two days talaga. Kasi pinaglaanan ko siya ng oras at panahon. Pinag-isipan ko talaga kung ano dapat yung gawin, kung ano dapat, kung ano siya magiging bagay. Parang kami. Ay, bale yun. Kung paano siya magiging bagay. So, yun. Ipapag-giveaway ko na lang po siya sa aking mga YouTube subscribers kasi it's more worth it naman talaga para sa sa mga may size mo dyan. Ang mga bang kayo sa aking mechanical game? Kung kailan ko siya i-announce, dito lang din sa aking YouTube channel and kailan yung date kasi nga di pa naman kami totally back operational yung aming shop. But soon as possible, i-announce ko na siya dito sa aking YouTube channel. And, pwede naman sumali yung mga mga size medium or size large. We can manage that. And, pag-uusapan natin yan sa aking next video. So, salamat po sa aking 192 subscribers. Thank you po sa inyo. Thank you po sa panunood. At laging naka, nakaabang sa aking mga coming videos. Salamat po talaga sa inyo. And, that's all for today. Thank you po. Bye!